how effective are things like the Tor browser for pro protecting yourself from being digitally monitored by the government? So probably you should say a little bit about what, what the Tor browser is and what Tor is in general, yeah, and how it works. So there's a service, um, there's a tool that you can use called Tor. Um, it was originally created by the U.S. government uh, and then f has been funded by a variety of sources since. And uh, essentially what it does uh, is it tries to protect the privacy of your web browsing. Uh, instead of you visiting directly to CNN or to reading Fox News, it bounces your connection over different servers on the internet to sort of hide your trail. Um, you know, the, the tools that we've talked about in this conversation are really uh, computer security and computer privacy 101. Using Tor is like computer security and privacy 301 or 401. This is like advanced privacy. and. Um, you know, I use Tor, and I have lots of friends and associates who use it, and I know that you use it all the time as well. Um, it can it can be a little bit slow uh, at times. Um, you know, you, you're not gonna go and watch uh, YouTube videos using Tor. It will be a, a slightly unpleasant experience. Uh, for those people who really need, um, who need to be anonymous, and for whom uh, the government learning the, the website they visit is is game over for them then I recommend something like Tor, if not Tor itself. Uh, but for the vast majority of people, it is so much more important that you have a password manager, that you have two-factor authentication. Um, you know, I, I think one of the things that we've seen in the last years is the extent to which personal and private information can now be weaponized through uh, information dumps and hacks. And so you need to protect your email account from being hacked.